It was on a Monday night. I was at home, 120 kilometres away in Limerick, and uh, about shortly before midnight, I think, I got a telephone call from a senior uh, official. I think kind of half one, 20 to two in the morning was the time I got that phone call to tell me that a decision was needed in relation to the guarantee. It's not easy. One is faced with choices here at two o'clock in the morning, and you, you have to trust the Taoiseach and, and the key ministers involved at the time. Markets were opening the following morning at eight o'clock. There was this possibility of no money in the ATM machines. We were never presented with do this or do that. We were never presented with protect these deposits and not those. Nothing short of this full, unequivocal, absolute guarantee would save the situation. It was presented as a liquidity issue, you know, that this was a liquidity problem. The solvency issue didn't surface. And it was, I mean, time and time again, liquidity, liquidity, liquidity. It was the only option to protect people's money, and it had to be done before the markets opened. I got a bit of a shock, I have to say, because usually uh, when I was consulted for an incorporeal cabinet meeting, it consisted of something very technical, like the minister had forgotten to sign something, or the cabinet had forgotten to sign off on something fairly minor, and you automatically agree. This was different, of course, but I, I, I wasn't in any position to argue, and uh, number one, and number two, I didn't have anybody really to argue with.